Hello, welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this particular video, I'll show you how to create a project. So, without wasting time, let's start. As you can see, I am inside my VM. Now, I'll type my password here and I'll just click here to log in in my development machine. Now, in this in this machine in the desktop you can see there is a visual studio or you can search it from your um, window section so from here also you can open your uh, visual studio like you have to right click and then you have to click on the run as administrator or directly from the desktop you can right click on it and you can uh, run as an ad administrator you can click over here so you had to click then the visual studio will open and as you can see this is the 2019 version and almost in all the vm 2019 person actually using now from here you have to create a new project in get started section you can see there is a multiple options is there but from here you have to create a new project so without wasting time you can click on the create a new project and when you will click on create new project in the left section you can see their uh, recent project templates is there from here you have to select the finance and operation maybe in your vm or in your visual studio version uh, there may be a little bit different but uh, remember that you have to create a template from finance and operation section so from there you can search and you can easily get it and after that you have to choose this one and then click next and here few in couple of important points uh, you have to note down the project name then the location where your project will be saved then the solution name and the framework uh, the project name you have to give based on your uh, um, standard naming convention whatever your uh, current company or current organization is actually following you have to follow that one but in my case as this uh, this is a example project or this is a tutorial so that's why i'm giving the name this one practice code okay and you can see uh, while uh, typing the project name the solution name uh, also uh, actually typed at the same point of time so you can also change from here also you can give the extra text in your project uh, solution name so if you want a different solution name you can also give that uh, otherwise you can uh, take it as a same project name and solution name and in between you can see the location where your project will be set you can change the location but uh, in my case as i am using the vm which is already set up so that's why i am uh, referring the location uh, as the same in the same path and after that you have to select the recent version of dotnet framework and this project will be built upon the uh, .NET framework 4.7.2 so uh, based on your time whatever the recent version of a framework you have to select that one but, but automatically it will select the latest latest version so and here one more point is there if you want to place the solution and the project in the same directory directory means folder if you want to take it if, if you want to uh, place the solution uh, and the project in the same folder then you have to click over here but i don't want this uh, I want that the solution and the project should be in the different folder so that's why I'm just not clicking over here and then after that you have to click create as you can see it will take some time to create the solution and the project the skeleton and after that you will be able to see the project also the solution so now you can see that uh, in the solution explorer you can see the solution practice code and also uh, under the solution you can see the practice code then isp is there fleet management is there 
okay so this is your project name so it is asking for the feedback so at this point of time i'll i'll not give the feedback so that's why i close that one and you can see that isb is the isb is the layer and fleet fleet management is the uh, model okay so this is the structure of the project for each and every project of finance and operation you will get this type of a uh, project name first your project name will be there after that layer should be mentioned after that model should be mentioned okay and here in this project you can create your uh, items for example you can create a folder inside it you can create a new item so if you click a uh, new item you will get a um, pop-up windows you will get a new window from there you can uh, you can add items for example if you click over here you can see there is a financial operation node here and beneath it you can see the all the items associated with the tx d365 items so you can see all the item over here and if you want to specific uh, items related to analytics then you can click the analytics and you will get all the analytics related items if you'll click on the business process and workflow you will get all the related items over here if you'll click code you can see all the related items related to code will appear for example class interface macro runnable class and test class also there also you can see here configurations related information uh, so for each and every object you will be able to see the configuration key related information properties will be there and if you want to set up then configuration item you have to work on after that in data model you can see there is various type of elements for example table query map data entry in the later videos you will be able to um, understand uh, about the table query and all these types of elements we will work upon also data types you can see various types of data types are there you can you will also learn about this data type very soon after that level and resources are there reports are there security items are there like uh, duty policy privilege roles are there also you can see types of services service schools are there service groups is there also interface user interface like forms and different types of menu item like action display output output also tile menus uh, these are the some items that you can add in your project okay so also there is a the option you can see from the below section you can easily add over there also you can select class from here also table from here also also you can select directly from edt extended data type from here also you don't have to create a new item this is the easy process from here you can also uh, add quickly you can add your items quickly as these are the uh, these are most used item that's why uh, they have given these items over here so in this video i'll not show you uh, the creation of the items uh, but in the later videos you will understand uh, as we uh, progress in your in our tutorial six cents you will be able to understand how to add one items and work uh, with that particular item in this video our agenda was how to create a project and there i also explain what type of elements you can actually add in your project so thanks for watching this video uh, i hope you have understood the concept how to create an object in finance and operation tutorial so see you in the next video